In today's video, we've got one of the longest videos on the channel, so make sure you smash that like button. Let's see if we can smash 400 likes, and let me know down in the comments if you think Ark Ascended is going to come out on time. In today's video, we're going to get into over 30 raids on broken locations, hidden locations for some huge loot. Also, get into loads of PvP as always, and we'll be claiming many locations in this one, like the insane lava location and many more. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So starting this video off where last one finished, I was in my base and I was preparing to build another base in a spot where I guarantee you most of you won't know about. Put in the comments if you do and also put in the comments if you don't uh, as you're going to see in the next clip where it is. Alright boys, as you guys know I'm above probably one of the best spots on centre or like right next to it. And I want to see if someone's claimed it, I doubt it, uh, I would have seen them but I guess we're, we'll find out. I'm going to actually claim it again because I'm going to put my main base in here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all the main loot in here and the main base at least. And then I'm going to have that as like breeding and that. Uh, because I feel like that's going to be much, much more better. But I might put this cliff flat here. As you can tell, it's a very glitchy spot and kept on anti-meshing me back, but you can build in that and it's literally impossible to raid if you do build it correctly. I was scouting around the redwoods and I found a base up near Sky Boulder that I actually died to their turret. So I came back over here wanting to raid it. I knew this was going to be difficult, but I had some ways that I could raid it with. And yes, you guessed it, grapple glitch in it. Yeah, that's good. We're going to try and grapple in there. Oh uh, yeah, I can, I can do that. Wait, you're not even streaming. Yeah, I, not for me. Bro, yeah, I know I won't. I can actually do that, bro. I got so much shotgun ammo off them as well. Yeah, I got, I didn't really get much. Oh my god, I didn't realise that. Bro, I was wasting so much time. I could, I could literally just do that. I wasted so much time, bro. And so many kills. Look, I was just grappling glitching up and up. When I could have just done that. Oh my god. That's so stupid of me. You know? Loads of metal. Uh, refrigerator, med brews, not much. Fabricator, a lot of metal. I need fabricator, a lot of metal. Might not be that fat, but I still have some loot. Smithy, not much. Power Jenny. Right, and this vault is basically going to determine if it was a worth it raid or not. Let's see what we get. Come on, please. Oh my god. I then scouted around the map for a little bit and I found a rat hole that was built in. The only problem was these guys were online, both of them, so it's going to be a little bit harder to raid, but still very doable. Thank you. The only problem, the guy was still around the area, kept on coming back, but his trot wyvern was low, so if he did come back for a long enough time, I'd be able to kill his trot wyvern. It's already LB. I think he's already LB, no way. He's actually already LB. How is he LB? And I think that's how we got out of his base with all these dudes. But you never know, he might still be in there. Not much. Oh, 
No access. Oh, I don't have no loot. None of these have loot. Yeah, that's the problem with raiding online in Ark. They just run with loot. Although it is a fun bit of PvP and a fun little raid, I didn't get no loot out of it. I then needed to get some Ellie because I didn't have any on my home map. But as you're going to see, this game likes to glitch out a lot and uh, something that I've never seen before happened. What the hell? What? I'm at the top, I have to go down. Alright, the boss is about to die. Hopefully, I don't get countered this time. It'll literally be so painful. Because I need this Ellie so, so much. I've already got the replicator, which I didn't place down overnight. Because my base would just look even more juicy. And people would want to raid it even more. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know why I just went to exit off the server then. <laughs> what the I died. How have I killed myself? Oh, it killed me. Now. Mesh. What? Yeah, you to mesh. How? You got, you got TP back into the boss arena. It does that. That's oh my that god. Rip. That is a big rip. It TP'd me back into the boss fight when I literally completed it all and had all the Ellie on me. So the Ellie that I lost in that boss fight, the admins actually reimbursed me and gave me the 400 Ellie back so I could actually make some base progress. Right lads, we're about to log offline. I've done something very cheeky here. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, as you can see, yeah, there's quite a few dead bodies and uh, if you look at my tribe log, there's a lot of uh, dead bodies in here. The reason why is my main generator, you may think is right there, but it actually isn't. It's underneath the cliff plats on a cliff plat i couldn't do this on my old lava spot because it's instant death but this is actually like i think it four tap at 590 health so people are going to have a lot more health than that but you got to think about it uh, it's going to be hard to get under i also did put some tech turrets there too so you're not going to get out offline very quick i've got 300 bullets in every heavy and 1000 in tech uh quite a lot i'm just too i'm quite worried about uh bullet count in the normal uh, turrets but you know what we're gonna have to deal with it it's all good uh so yeah i'm just gonna vlog off now i've got to make a thumbnail and then i've got a football trial uh tomorrow so i don't want to be spending ridiculous time uh tonight uh so yeah one of the best ways to get stuff in arc is to trade with people so i'm gonna do a little trade with the guys in pearl cave for some stalkers and some stegos that's right isn't it wait what Right there he is. Hello, my friend. All right, breeding pair of stegos and stalkers for 420k flint. Here you go, mate. Wait. So I wait. I just did. I gave you the wrong stalker. After that trade complete, I now would stegos to braid bigger and better bases and also a stalker line to PvP better with. So I found a base that was right on the edge of the map, inside the waterfall basically, but something was fishy about this base. There was two tribes built together and this was not allowed in the server. So I'm gonna do the server some justice and raid it for myself and maybe even get some loot out of it. I'm getting shot. Sure. I didn't bring no C4. I didn't bring no C4. I'm just gonna loot. He's got a bat turret, so if he comes back and he ain't got good flag. Bro, what the hell? Like what? Ah, it's wood. Replicator. No, nice. Fat body one. You know what I'm gonna do? 
What's I'm up? gonna get rid of all the foundations then. Is that Kai? YT, Hoge Bear, gone. See, boy, let's go! Well, bro, that's that bro. problem solved. That's, that's that, that problem, problem solved. solved. <laughs> <laughs> no way, bro. That's definitely that problem solved. The Wait, folks what? are unlocked because they were ally building. That's why it's unlocked because they were ally um, building. Are they the ones unlocked though? Yeah, they must. I don't know actually. Maybe. Yeah, they're... oh no, locked, locked. Wait, that's the other tribe. Yeah, look. So that's why T Hodge better, and this is. B. Let's go. What? Oh my god. Polly. Polly. There's wise. Beer. Let's go. There's not. I, to be honest, I did. I did need to do a poly run. To be fair, so he saved me that job. He saved me that job. To be fair. Yeah. Let's see last hole. <gasps> oh! Oh my God! A whole prefab, bro. A whole prefab. And a magma sorry. I, I don't know. I, should I just? Nah, I'm not gonna LB. Yeah. So it's your whole prefab in here. Let's go. 3.2k stalkers. And a whole prefab. Let's go, man. Oh, Five tech turrets, a whole kit. The rock. Cheeky blinders. Is a oh, let's go, bro. A whole prefab. Let's go. Little did I know when I was looting, my time was running out. No. There's other reasons. There's stuff at the back. Yeah. Isn't there? What turret shot? Turret? Yeah, I know. I don't know what I got from that. Oh, the bullets. Freaking pot. Right, let's go. You got everything good, bro. Oh, no. Fun. Chill. 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 Come on, Stalker now. Come on, Stalker now. He's bought him. It's so obvious he's bought him, bro. I don't know why I said he was bot, and you never know, he could have been. He only hit heads when I was in the Stalker's claws. But yeah, I took a minor during the Stalker over to Ab to chill out and do a little chill metal run. But I did run into some people on my way. Hold up, I'll, I'll talk right. to you in a sec. Hold up, hold up. I'm in fight. Don't fight, bro. What was that? Watch me die to the neutral stalker. Where's the bag or the body? There you are. Oh, no. Right boys, I've came over to Val to get a uh, Doed because I need to go get some Ellie dust because I found a raid over on a... Uh, What's it called? Aberration that looks actually kind of fat and feel like I can raid it. So, yeah, I needed a double head obviously because you can't farm a dust with a hatchet because it's so slow. So, long story short, I went over to Extinction, farmed some Ellie dust, came over to Aberration with a tech rifle and some Ellie dust, crafted that into Ellie, came over to this rat hole uh, thinking I could tech rifle the wall down and it was just so awkward that I couldn't do so. This rat was very OP and you can't really raid it many other ways than this. Uh, so yeah, that's the L I couldn't raid it. So me and my good mate Tom wanted to do Alpha Ab for obviously the extra levels and the engrams. So we went over to Ab, uh, farmed up all the drops needed and started it. But we was getting watched whilst going in and it nearly stopped me from doing it. And I can't, it's, it's like I'm tapped and I'm not. Uh, just press S and then press back in. Oh bro, I'm, I'm in, I'm in the bar, but I got grabbed. You got grabbed? Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, this was probably one of my most intense alpha rock rolls I've ever done because it was duo and we thought we weren't gonna be able to do it because look at the time left, but fortunately enough, we could. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not right. Thank yes. God. Let's go. Oh, I got so scared. Let's go. Oh yes. my, God. my heart is actually beating for the first time in a boss fight for like oh a year, bro. Oh my God, that felt like an actual boss. Bro, we had three minutes. Oh my god. Bro, 
but that's close. I'll leave it. Alright guys, I'm going to bring to you a technique that I haven't ever shown on the channel before and I only recently found it out. If you want to get levels quick after you've done your Alpha Rockwell, come over to Ireland, get a 2x and a 4x note and come over to Redwoods, bring a miner drill with you and harvest the trees with a miner drill. I know it sounds bizarre and you're probably thinking, how do you get levels off this? But this gives you an insane amount of XP, more than spray paints do, so I'd highly recommend it. I don't know how hard the last few levels are, like the 180, uh, like 170 to 180 levels are. Depends on that really, but yeah. I'm 112. So I've this one over on Crystal Wells where I found a really nice and easy rat hole to raid and it only had one auto turret so obviously I could run that pretty easily and get inside of this base and hopefully get some decent loot. Is it heavy? Oh it's even an auto turret. Even better. Uh, so what I'll do, I'm gonna slap it like, right there, there we go, any more turrets, I don't see any more, don't think there is any more, um. oh this is like some compact base, Right, there we go, the base is down. Fabricator. Not much loot at all. Uh, two more PT eggs. Looks like it should have been bred with a really good PT. Fabricator. That's where all their loot was. Obviously, not even that much to be honest with you. Anything, especially this stone. That stone I can make into a cementing base. Blow that mannequin. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There's some. F um, not too fat actually. Uh, it's it's profit. It's definitely profit. Um, bear in mind this is really early into wipe, so basically anything is profit. I believe it was three to five hours in. So you know what? We'll take that and we we'll move on to the next raid. When you hold me tight and don't let go. So I originally came over here to raid this rat hole as I had a really good PT with a decent saddle on and I thought I could just see spin these turrets but they were actually inside of their base and both of them were and they just got tech tier down obviously a replicator just got placed so I knew I couldn't really do this now I let them get a little bit too fat and yeah, I now can't see spin this. I have to give this one a little pass because, yeah. Oh, that's annoying. I was coming over here, ready to raid these, had everything. And, um, yeah, I was just going to see spin the generator on the left side, but obviously I can't do that no more. Because they're both in their base, and I don't really want to do it right now when they're both in there. I'll come back to that tomorrow, it's probably fat tomorrow with tech and that though. It's fine though because I found another raid pretty much instantly, this rat hole in the ceiling. All I had to do here was stalk a dash in and turn the generator off. Now let's do it. We'll do that. We'll try that. It's weird, this location. Oh my god. That's done. Stalk is half HP. Could have died. Could have, but it didn't. It's fine. Let's see what loot we've got. Oh, a rhino. I said she's got 710 pace. Nice. Even more pace. Fatty. It's a power gen. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save some of this C4 just in case I see another rate. Uh, save them rockets. 
in case I do see another raid. Um, base is called Please No Raid. Bro, bro, I just raided him. Hey, that gunpowder is huge right now. Oh, can I open this? There we go, loads of metals to stack my indie before we got all night. And then obviously we're gonna blow this mannequin. I didn't even think they had a mannequin. Um, was it two, probably, for a mannequin? Another one. Oh, we got a mannequin. Ooh, ARBP. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah, nothing in there at all. But uh, yeah, that's a proper raid. I really, I'm gonna kill this RG. I might be looting it. I'm sorry. No, nah, there's no loot. My bad. Before I do get further into today's video, let me tell you about Cryptic Arc. Cryptic Arc is a 10x8 man tribe server with loads of stats and features you guys will love and enjoy. It's Xbox and Windows 10 and they are actually wiping next Friday on the 16th. So I see you guys over there. Make sure you go join the Discord top link of the description. I then was thinking to myself whether or not I should try to stalk a dash this little heavy box and see if I could get some loot out of it. But they were actually inside of their base and online, so it was going to make it extremely difficult if I'd done so. So I just left it. I probably should have done it now thinking about it. But you know what? I didn't want to lose my stalker and all my kit at the time. Yeah. Got a mining drill for me. Next extra mining drill, don't mind if I do. Stalker's gonna die too. I don't know why he's collecting artifacts in my drop, but okay. So I'm about to hop off for the night because I've got a football in like six hours. I probably should have got more sleep, but you know, we're on the art grind. Anyway, we've got ton of resources, load of metal, uh, load of stuff and that, that's not really too important. We've got loads of blood stalkers for tomorrow. These eggs are actually good, I think they're like 3.2k's, uh, which is not bad at all. Obviously crafting up some bullets because our bullet count is not looking too great right now. We've got like 200 in each turret, but we've got 13 heavy turrets, 4 hours into white, which is kind of good. Like that, That is very, very good, especially we are solo, like most wipes. Um, the base, the base is looking kind of nice. I mean, it's going to be a hard raid, uh, especially this early on. So I'm hoping I will survive the night. Um, fingers crossed at least. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's really all I've got to show you. I'm going to wait until all these bullets are crafted up because this will probably save my base if someone does try to raid me because half these turrets don't have like any bullets in. Uh, especially these ones below because I focused on getting the top ones filled up before But I'll get these to like 300 and then I'm gonna hop off as I said I was gonna do a metal and stone run and that is what I've just done I've just broke a full mining jewel, which I should have got a lot of Metal I think let me see how much metal in total I have got uh, I've got 135k which is very good and then stone wires I've got 70k stone which I needed so I'm really bad uh, for cementing paste so that's all good uh, there's a couple of raids that I want to do but I don't know if I want to go tame a velo first and do lava golem uh, or what but I need to find a drop to transfer it off, off at and for some reason there's custom velo spawns on um, here I then found a raid basically next to the world border and it was very raidable especially with this PT because it actually had a lot of health and a very good saddle so I'm going to attempt to try to see spin raid this and hopefully get some really really good loot. No way. That is stupid. The thing is, if I break this, I'm, I might die. Oh, what well, like that? Ah. That's fine. I can get grabbed. There we go. Perfect. 
passive. Let's get this off the edge. See you later. That works better than I thought. I, I, that's never happened to me with glitch like that. Before, but there we go. Bit of um, bit of wood than that. I mean, I don't really need it. I take the hide though. The hide is always very useful. Uh, another smithy. Insane amount of metal. Don't mind if I do take that. Fabricator. Oh my god. Okay. Now that's fat. That is really fat. Another fabricator. Even more fat loot. Chem bench. Oh my god. This is fat. Okay. This was probably the best possible thing I could have got. Like, the, I don't have no gunpowder right now. And me just getting all that gunpowder is huge. Loads of metal. Load up mannequin. Fabby sniper shotguns. Good shotguns. Carbo saddle BP. Oh, cap shotty. Time to do boss fight, I think, with that. I uh, can't lie. Might be time to do boss fight. Um, loads of mining drills. Uh, like a really high armor gas, ba uh, gas bag saddle BP for a ramshackle. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, that's all that's in that mannequin. I think I want to take this flak, actually. Anything that's better than my prim flak right now, I can repair and uh, I'll be chill. There we go. Right now, break this mannequin. There we go. What eggs do I have to? What have we got in this one? Uh, not much to be honest in that one. What eggs? Bloodstalker eggs. I wonder how good they are. Definitely will take them. Actually, you might have names. They're high level bloodstalkers it looks like. Uh, Mute. Mute, so it's melee mute. So they've mutated some of them. Alright, refrigerator. Oh! Okay, that's what I wanted. May wings, fairies, good fairy too. You contain text there, goes already. I did know. Oh my god! Bro, my boy has a whole. Oh my god, I've just got absolute slapped. And I didn't even see that coming. Right now, you may think I've just lost all of that loot, but wait until you see what happens next. Lucky enough, I had a bed really near with a PT. Obviously, I'd be naked, but let's see what I can do. Oh, he's still here. I need to get him off. Right. I mean, my loot is gone. He's actually from this base. Love that mannequin. Ah, oh, what can I do? I can't do... Oi! That's my kit. Oh, it's not. Legs! Yes! Just when I thought it was over. If I clutch this up right now. Whistle neutral. Oh, I got everything! Bro. We need to get out. What is he putting in? I think he's just trying to get something back up. I think it's time to get out. Yeah. It's time to go. Oh my god, I literally just caught shit up there. I thought it was over. I was so annoyed. But yeah, I got everything. I got everything, let's go! So I was all ready to do the boss fight, bring my shotgun over and all the shells that I needed, and then this happened. Oh my god, bro. Seriously. 
after taking a fat L, I decided to come over to Ragnarok to tame a Velo because I really wanted to run some lava golems. Alright, uh, maybe not. Four, what was that? Four trunks and it was out. So 120, so not the best Velo, but will we do the job? Will it do the job? Probably. It's, it's alright. It's okay. I'm gonna look for a better level one. Uh, I've got three cryopods, so yeah, if I can find three Velos at decent levels. Then I'm going to tame it because you never know, I might walk into Gollum again and like die straight away because that happens like one every five times, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's just the reality of um, buying Lava Gollum all the time. So the Lava Gollum was actually on cooldown so I couldn't do the Lava Gollum sadly. I then was scouting over on centre and then ran into loads of PvP so let's hope we come out with a dub. Oh my god. I'm literally broken bones. How have I just done that? Oh my god. I don't really need to LB this kit, but I'm gonna LB it. Because they have prim pumps. Oh my god, get off of me, bro. There's so many bugs. Ah. Uh, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I need to transfer off from repair. I found a raid though, I was going. I then found a pretty poorly built base, however they did have about 3 to 4 heavy turrets and I couldn't really run that with Prim Flak. So I banged my carbo over and I was hoping it would soak a few bullets. Did I blow something? I did blow a turret. Blew two turrets with that. Perfect. So now mm. So that carbo died fairly quick and the only way that I was going to get into this base now was with some LOS from this magma saw. So I'm going to try to kill it basically on the turrets and then hopefully it will LOS all the turrets for me. Perfect, stay there. I need to kill it but it's there. That's him. This this is the guy. That's it. You know what? Probably gain loot. I probably have gained loot there. Like I mean, that carbo is dead. They've just gone boss. I've got no way to get out. Where's my stalker? Did my stalker die? My stalker must have just died or something. But they literally just done boss. <laughs> That's funny. 370 Ellie. I can come over here and craft my replicator. And I'm chilling. Uh, I just need to stash this loot somewhere. So yeah, I got that Ellie, so I decided to come back to the map that the Ellie was on with the resources for a replicator. And my beds were fairly near to the guy's base that I just killed. And I decided to message him on Discord because I actually knew the guy. And I was just going to give the Ellie back for another Bloodstalker because I had just lost mine. Uh, so yeah. Alright, here's the Ellie. <laughs> Killing, giving your own Ellie back. Scammer gets scammed. 
I don't Wait, need it. It's on. It's Wait, add, me, add me back real quick. I need to. Add, I want to add my friend to the crew. I hadn't actually done boss fight yet, but Tech Replicator does actually unlock on level one of five on this server. So I could actually craft this replicator, which was gonna advance me so much more faster than anything else. Big replicator is crafted. There we go, and now we can just transfer off out this drop. So I bring the replicator back to Genesis, um, and then we can start getting a transmitter and all of that. So it just makes life a lot easier. I do still need to get a boss fight done, but I'm not in no rush to do that. Yeah, so I tried to get loads of Ellie because obviously Luna Biome on Gen 1 is just broken for that. But literally every cave that there was Ellie rocks in was actually taken. So it's really hard to get element this wipe. I then decided I wanted to run a Lava Golem and I was going to see if there was anyone in here for some PvP. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry I'm being a little rocket bob, but literally all my weapons were going to get whipped if not. I love Scotty Reg, bro. I love it. Bro, I love Scotty. I'm not even going to lie and make excuses there. My shotgun just didn't register. I literally hit him four or five times and they all were blank. But you know, it happens sometimes in not. Anyway, I decided to come to Scout Chris the Wilds and I ran into a base, literally. I then went around the Luna biome looking for some decent stegos to tame and I found a fairly okay one. Obviously this is nothing special. When you're taming a stego you want to be looking for 6.8 and above I would say. And then you've got a decent starting stego line. I then came over to Ragnarok looking for a Mantis to tame as I needed to do a pretty fat flint run and a storm run in one. So let's get that Mantis and get over to Scorched Earth. Alright boys, I've literally came over to the Scorched Earth to do a stun run. Um, I've literally just done it the reverse way. Instead of with, with a pickaxe, I've done it with a hatchet. And as you can see, I've gotten a lot of stun, which I'm going to show you real quick. If this direwolf gets out of the way. Uh, but yeah, stone. Let's see how much we've got in total. Let me look at uh, like the stone structure. So 400k nearly, uh, which is kind of amazing. Uh, I can get everything going now. I can get a lot of gunpowder crafting up. Uh, because I've already got a lot of flint. That was not the problem. Flint was, yeah, not the problem. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go back to base. And then I think I'm going to run uh, Alpha Rockwell with another duo. And then we should be good. As it was custom recipes on the server that I was playing, I needed to get a bunch of berries and I had a spare rhino in one of my vaults. So I came over to Genesis Ocean Biome and got literally a cap of berries in about 2 minutes. So me and another duo was actually going to run Alpha Rockwell, but there was other guys trying to do the exact same thing as us. So we're going to get into some PvP here, let's hope we come out on top. I don't know where you are. I'm fine. I just, I just, I just... Uh, Who's this on me? Is this my teammate? Bro, yeah, he's so does not. Look, look. He's running. Bro, I've got one of his teammates on me. Wait, wait, we need to find GB. I'm up the top. Look at my stream. He's, 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 he's jumping. He's jumped down. He's jumped down. Is that down by the water, by? I tagged him four times. That. F 
Nice. That's GB. No, it's not. Which one's you? Skeleton? I'm here, I'm here. Is Skeleton you? Which one's Skeleton? Who's Bolids? That's not me. Oh, n none of these are us. The Skeleton's not us. Skeleton's not us. LB. Fat loot. There's one still here. My stalker still. Where is he? He's good. Good. My stalker grabbed him. Killed him. Wait, nice. don't LB, don't LB, don't LB. That's me, that's me. That's don't me. LB. Oh. Well, I want, I want the skin. Where did you LB? Where is this guy? He's right here. That's I me, hello. I want can I have skin. a skin? Yeah, you can have it. Get... Yeah, no. they'll do it alpha. They're going to do alpha. Can I have them mushroom bros? I need them. So after getting all them kills and actually gaining quite a bit of loot from them two kills, we decided we now needed to do Alpha Rab. So that is what we're doing right now. You can't actually do this boss fight as a solo, that's why I'm jumping in with another duo. Alright, there we go. Ooh, quite a few engrams unlocked. I mean, I've done Alpha Rock Glow before, I've done um, Alpha Center, this uh, wipe. There's my cap on back. Which I lent to them to do the boss fight with. Um, but yeah, I'm not even going to show the cut screen anymore. Everyone's seen it about 30 million times. Uh, but yeah, engrams. I just need tech turret now already. And then I'm good. Right, boys. Um, this method is pretty OP to get level 120 once you've done your Alpha Rockwell. I've literally got a fabricator here. Bang loads of resources over and crafting spray paints. And I'm pretty much level... Um, 120 right now i'm gonna pump a little bit more hp get to 550 and then i'm gonna get one more oxygen when you're level 120 on here i think you unlock all engrams yes perfect that's the plan that was the plan to unlock all engrams there which i have just done um so i don't have to run no center bosses or anything like that i've got my tech turrets get my tech turrets up and then we're looking like very very good i guess um not much has to be done now i've just got a scout for raid get some more blueprints such as flat blueprints and that and we are good i then came to scout val and i got into a tiny bit of pvp at clemens rat hole I just hit my silver. Um, didn't really have anything on him. How far is Clemens? Right, boys, I'm about to hop off for the night. Um, it's been a hard day of grinding, and I've got a base secure now. Uh, I should be pretty good. I think how many turrets we got? We just need to focus on bullets. Our bullet count's poor, like really poor. 66 turrets. Now it's just bullet grinding. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. A uh, very compact design base, like normal. Uh, let me craft some more bullets. And then, yeah, I'm good. 7k bullets there. Stick that in there. Fill them up to 10%. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really got to say. Um, it's been a good day today so far. I'm going to wake up really early tomorrow. So I'm probably going to get like 4 hours sleep and wake up. Right boys, this mining drill is about to break and I'm just going to finish the metal run here as I've literally got to go somewhere in about an hour and I really want to run Lava Golem before I do so uh, just because it'd probably be a little bit less quieter in there and um, yeah, so I have currently got 200k metal which is good, 100k in each forge that will last me a bit of time my indie forges are literally dry and I thought as I've just came on May as well do a little bit of farming. I was gonna do a flip run, but I've actually got to go somewhere, as I just said. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I came straight over to Lava Golem and was ready to do the Lava Golem, and then I got into a little bit of PvP whilst waiting. He's trying to be a melee bob. He's a melee bob. Oh my god! Could you have had a good shotgun? I'm literally useless right now. I can't do nothing. I need to get out of this bowler. There we go. That 
uh, Gollum is dead, I was about to say reloading. Just gonna watch the door, make sure no one comes in. And I don't wanna... Wait, is that a guy? Oh, I thought that was a guy there. It wasn't. Uh, but yeah, let's see what big P's we get. Um, a Giga Saddle, literally nothing. A B roll. Like that, that is trash. I really only want a Stego Saddle, I don't even care about the fact right now. Yeah, but these drops on the outside are probably gonna be trash too. Yikes. Yeah, and as you just saw, that was a very miserable and disappointing Lava Golem, and I literally didn't get one useful blueprint, which was kind of an L. Right, boys, I've just been over on Scorcher for quite a bit of time now, and obviously I just needed to do a fat stone and flint run. Uh, let me just kill this saber too. There we go. I got how much stone? I got four, five hundred thousand flint. And 1,000, 1,000, 165,000 stone, which is more than enough to make a ton of spark powder, a ton of gunpowder, and then I should be chilling for a while. I'm just going to go on all the farming uh, runs now, and then I literally don't have the farm for the rest of the wipe, because um, I'll just hopefully raid people. I just need blueprints. That's literally the only problem now, uh, for getting blueprints, which... There's a few ways I can do that, so it's not a problem. And then I went to run another Lava Golem, and this happened. Who puts heavy turrets there? Like, things like that need to stop in this game. <laughs> Putting the heavy turrets outside a Lava Golem. I then decided to do a raid with my Prim Stego Saddle and my imprinted Stego. I wanted to see how it would go. There was about six heavies in this rat hole and I could actually soak them from outside. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Let's hope I can get in and get some decent loot. And long story short, my Stego got absolutely melted and was taking about 300 damage per bullet. So as you can imagine, six turrets shooting that thing, it got melted pretty quick so i couldn't really do this raid and at this point it was like a two days into wipe and i had no blueprints no stego saddle no good stegos and it was pretty demotivating to say the least right boys honestly i have not been on much today i think it's day two yeah day two of wipe and um i haven't done much to be honest uh i've mainly been playing that other game uh, because I've literally got no flat blueprints and as you just saw in the last clip, I can't really raid much But the base is still fat. I doubt we'll get raided Hopefully I'll be able to hop on tomorrow and get some decent blueprints uh, Because right now I can't do much without any blueprints to be honest with you uh, But yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem once I do get the blueprints that I need um, Yeah, my ammo box. I just put my grapples in uh, So that's not good. But yeah, that's all I really got to say here uh, but I'll update you guys tomorrow or whenever I do play next. So, uh Welcome back to episode 4 of the Solar Series. Hope you have an amazing day. In today's video, we get into a ton of PvP. Also, make huge upgrades to my broken location. Get into countless raids for some insane loot. And do a grief on a much more bigger tribe. And much, much more. Let's see if we smash 1,100 likes on the video. Also, 80% of the audience that do watch my videos are not subscribed. So, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, starting off the video, I was just roaming the map. Trying to look for some bases to raid. And I came across across a guy so obviously i'm going to get into some pvp and test these trop wyverns out because i did get them last video and i'm going to see if they're good or not no no big foot no 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 for net how oh. oh my god these trop wyverns are broken man at least you bit him three times and breathed him and he died. I just got like... How much ARB is that? Like, 3k? What the hell? As you just saw, the truck items are pretty good. Now I'm going to scout the rest of the map and see if I can find a base to raid. I then made some pretty huge upgrades to the base, as I didn't think it was too strong at the moment considering there was motorboats. So I decided to add a little chandelier and put some turrets on that, as you're going to see in the next clip. 
Right lads, so I'm going to come off shortly, but I just thought I'd do a little base tour. I've made some huge progress today. Literally, I didn't want this to get raided. Obviously, I know there are boats, so that can probably get dropped very easily. But I've actually took every single piece of loot out of here, except from the Indy Forges, and stuck them on four volts up here that they probably think that's only protecting my generator, but that's where all my loot is, basically. Uh, so as you can see here, I put some turrets on the wall. Uh, basically, what you have to do for this, you have to get a cliff plat and then snap uh, foundations off the cliff plat. It's pretty weird. Uh, obviously, that cliff plat, nothing special. That's still got zero bullets in. <laughs> I still haven't updated that one from last base tour, but everything's literally got 1k bullets. Uh, this has obviously got the tech bulb because it's got the rep on. Every single piece of my loot is up here. Like literally everything's got 1k and 500 shards. You're probably wondering how I've done these floating turrets. They shoot directly down, uh, so they're pretty OP. But I will show you that in another clip, maybe in a different video, or it might be this video. I'm not too sure. It's very late at night, and I've got school in about five hours. But you know, dark grind that don't stop. We've got four cat volts, so we're gonna have about four cat volts because I'm gonna take everything out of the replicator and stick up here because this is the strongest point of my base in my opinion i've literally helped everything so yeah i'm gonna wait for that to all craft up and then stick everything up top because yeah it's the safest place right lads just got in from school after about well, let's say a 15 hour offline time or actually probably less than that probably about 12 hours offline time or maybe 10 uh, there's nothing happened in my tribe log so people probably think you can't raft raid this which is very nice because it gives me more time to get content for you guys and pvp raid all of that good stuff that you guys enjoy uh, i literally need to get everything out of these vaults and put it in my replicator for the time that i'm gonna be on at least uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to focus mainly on bullets and that today and if we find some more raids and PvP then we find that. I also need to get some lines up like Stego, uh, Bloodstalker so we can work on trading with people for that I guess. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. I then went to tame a Quetzal because I wanted to Quetz raid a base and to be fair I'm not too good at Quetz raiding as you're going to see in a future clip. There we go. Probably not the best place for it to drop in, but you know, it's fine. Should still be able to tame it. Come on, where is it even at? There it is. Boom, 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 boom. Tame it. Level 55. 55 will do for now. Oh, passive, passive. Yeah, it got hit, but it's it really don't matter. It's a Quetzal. I needed a Quetzal. Right, how how do I how do I do this build? I've never done a quet satch frame. Yeah, I think that's definitely gonna be a problem here. Right, I'm sorry, okay, I didn't. What am I watching? Yeah, all right, all right. I didn't have, I didn't bring walls. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It still works. You have enough doors. I put a ram there. What the? It still works. It still works. <laughs> but you have to have like perfection aim surprised. with this. I respect this system, bro. I'm genuinely surprised. I've never. <laughs> Funny enough, I've never actually hatch frames on it. Like, Did how have you done the quest for some extinction base? Cypher. No, 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 yeah, I think it's best for me just to stick with a stego and soak that way rather than trying to quetz a base down because I'm a big bob like that. So I went and grabbed a stego and just decided to soak all the turrets on the hatch frame as this was going to be the easiest thing to do. Oh! I didn't realize there was a. Uh... Now I was close enough where I could literally just rock it up, damage the hatch frames, and get all of these turrets down. Oh, what a bob! Oh, I can, I can do this. There we go. Right, legs. Do I have a spare legs? I do not. Right, this could be a problem here. Right. C4. I'm just gonna have the firm one C4. 
There we go. That's that was the better option there. Right. Let's see what loot we're looking at. Take that meat so I can cook that. Preserving bin. Nothing too special. A few PTs. An RG and Anki. A Smithy. A Legs BP. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nothing nothing special. Let's just put it that way. A fabricator. A shorty BP. I did actually need a shorty BP. So that's good. That's good. Uh, loads of bullets. Like, yeah. That, that's really nice. Large storage box. Flak. Nothing really I need in there. Nothing I need in there. Uh, C4 Day. Yeah, nothing too special in there either. Nothing in that one. Chem bench, a bit of stone. I can turn that into CP. Power Jenny, what's this? Another turret. How many bullets? Yeah, honestly, not that fat, but what did I expect? It's not the fattest base. I mean, I can just do so many of these sort of raids today. Uh, so I'll probably just keep on keeping this flowing. How much metal? Quite a bit of metal to be fair, like that's a good amount of metal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, uh, repair all my flak and look for the next raid. Right boys, I just done a trade for some stegos. I gave him 350k flint for 7.6k stegos, which is absolutely insane. This probably discounted because they kind of like me or something. It seemed like it at least. Anyway, I'm gonna pop all three of these stegos and we can get a stego line going, which is perfect. Uh, la, 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 la. So I was scouting around on Extinction and I found a very fat base, but there's one problem about this base, there's a huge blind spot underneath where I could just basically get under their death fall and do damage to it that way. So I'm going to try my luck here and see if I can do it. So basically, it's not Wasteland. So no, basically, the other one. So you can come wasteland. under here. Yeah. Yeah, look, look. They've done it so, bo like, bobbish. You can come under here, LOS the whole base. And you're in basically. Be can fast, I, could bro, could yeah. I borrow a tech rifle and like Ellie, so I can do this because this this is quite fat. Look, you ready? And this is good for a solo. Like, look, literally tech gen is exposed. Oh, bro, that's gonna be so free. Where's yeah. the tech gen? Like, it's exposed. You you can get underneath the ceilings. And then get it like uh, that. A risk like this is well worth taking because you never know that luck in arc. Sometimes you can get into the base and get so much loot. It's probably like a 1 in 10 chance on this one, but I'm going to try it anyway. But before I do get into this raid slash grief, let me tell you about Coven Arc. Coven Arc is a Steam 25x server with four man tribes. They offer rebuild kits and many more features you guys will love and enjoy. More information is up on the screen right now. They did actually wipe 8th of April last. Friday, so make sure you go join their Discord top link in the description. Without further ado, let's get back into this raid. Oh my god, no, they haven't. No, they haven't built a wall like that. Please, no. They actually have, mate. My god, right. I've done this, is the hard part now. Where do I come up in from to like. Yeah, this is the hard part, I'm not gonna lie. Fingers crossed this guy is offline, because if he is, I can do this pretty easily. In two shots. So he had just put a parasaur on turret mode, so this means he's actually online, and it's a pretty smart play from that guy because he'll know exactly where I am now. As you can tell from my silence, I'm concentrating very hard right now.
Bro, I'm concentrating hard. Ah, and just like that, it was over. It's a very low chance that I was actually getting inside of that base, and I would just class that as a little grief, and it was a bit of fun. So I was slacking on element a little bit, so I decided to do a hard center boss fight, which I will get about 320 element from. Right, lads, I have actually received some invite rewards because I've literally got zero time. I know I do say this every time, and it's basically my excuse, but I'm literally sitting my GCSEs, and for the people in England... Uh, you guys will know what they are, they're pretty important and I need to do pretty decent on them because that sets me for later on in life if I want to go for a job or something like that. But anyway, back onto the BP, BP's blueprints. Uh, they're pretty decent, well they're amazing actually. Uh, the cap is like 1050, so they're basically cap without any crafting skill. So that is crazy. I just run a center boss too and got some element. I'm just going to go on a fat farming run now. I think I need to get stone, polymer, uh, just all the resources. And then it'll basically just be even more raiding from them. There we go. Dobhead is knocked out. Let's see how much uh, stone I do actually get over on Scorch Earth. I'm very interested to see. Because if I get lows, I can just do a stone run on Scorch Earth. Don't know where you normally do a stone run with a dubhead though. Really don't know. So after doing a stone run on Scorched Earth, I found a base where I've never seen a base before. It was quite a weird location, but I'm going to attempt to try to raid it and get some loot. You're joking me. It's always hitting legs. Come on, let me just... I've got no flak there. This ain't no good idea. Yeah, I'm dead. Therefore, I'll actually die. That's fine. I'll come back with another stego. Oh, that was painful, bro. I was like, oh, that wasn't good to be fair. I should have broke the first turret box, or whatever you want to call it. I need to actually go back to my other map. That's a rip. So, that's exactly what I've done. I came back with another imprinted stego and loads of rocket launchers, as you can see from my hot bar. And I was going to get this whole entire base down, hopefully. Right, what I need to do. Get behind this stego. I just need soak for me. Just need soak. I can soak these two turrets pretty easy. If that's the amount of bullets that are on each turret then yeah. It's gonna be quite a nice easy soak. He's actually sleeping here but at level 94. So it's not the actual guy. There's still one more turret up, but where's my C4? There we go. Can I, ooh, can I at least get this offline? Can we disable while I look in? This is coming a problem. And now we need to break this. 
go, that's off. And then there's one more. Alright. Where's the other turret? Where's this Jenny? The outlet's here. To break the outlet, I guess. Somehow that broke my legs. I got a full fresh set of lap. Alright, Indie Forge. Nothing. Please don't be one of these raids again. Right, metal. Made profit just from that. Uh, decent loot, another smithy. I don't really need that. I'm not going to take it because I'm never going to really use it. Chem bench, nothing. Chem bench, oh no. Not one of these raids again. Fabricator. Uh, minor dual BP. Uh, quite a bit of metal. We'll take that. Decent raid. Decent raid so far. Anki. Nothing special. I'm just looking forward to see what's in the vault because that hopefully will have everything in. I didn't loot that guy, did I? He was naked. Nice. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a bit disappointed in the loot so far. Hopefully this vault will redeem the whole raid and make it worth it. Two more C4. Really hoping this vault's fat. Really am, but I don't know. 70 slots of absolutely nothing. Two 4.2, 5.2k carbos. I don't know if that's good. I guess we did get a carbo line and we didn't lose anything really. I mean, it wasn't a bad raid, but we still got profit. Uh, actually, yeah, it wasn't a bad raid. How much cement base did we get? Because I'm running really low. Not a lot, to be fair. Not a lot. Oh well, it's alright. It's not terrible. So starting the video off with a very weird situation, but the next clip will explain it to you. I really don't know what's going on here, but I've literally just loaded on from coming to Gen 2 because I want to get some more stalkers. And I'm not in a tribe, and I clearly made a tribe, so I really don't know what's happened. Like, And I'm, I'm on the same character too, which is so weird. Like, This game's just glitchy. It's the first time it's ever happened to me, but I've heard it's happened to people in the past. So I've just made a ticket to see if my base is still there it's probably been raided because i've been over there a while and trying to figure out how to solve this problem for a minute now so uh yeah i hope i haven't been raided but you never know i might have if we have been raided i can build up it's not a big problem so my ticket did get answered and i got added back into my tribe i then whipped out a stalker out of upload and then came straight back over to my base to see if anyone had caused any damage or even raided it and it looks like we're all good after them shenanigans. Anyway, let's get into a raid or something. So I scouted around the map a little bit and I found an unturreted stone cliff plat literally right next to my base. So obviously I'm going to raid it. But he's not, he's not. Oh, come on. Bro, this is what I mean. That C4 glitch. The C4 glitch is on this game now. So... Ah, oh, he's left. He's took everything and gone. Yeah. All in that mannequin, maybe. So, earlier on, this base actually did have turrets on. So, he must have picked them up and moved to a different location. So, I'm not even going to waste any C4 blowing up that mannequin. You know, your boy needs to do a little poly run. So, he came over to Aberration. Obviously, this is the best place to get poly on the whole entire game. Especially if you've got a sickle. The best thing to do it with is a dire bear. But, obviously, I can't be bothered to go tame one. Because this does the job perfectly. Oh, that's not good. Is GB gonna get PvE'd? That's really, really bad. Hopefully I don't know. I'm not dying now. I then had to go grab some silica pearls. So obviously I came over to Crystal Wells and the little lakes there have so many poles in. So I was doing some farming around in the redwoods and I found a really hidden stone base. Obviously it didn't have no turrets, but I thought it could have some profit in, so I raided it. Stone base. Maybe there might be some loot in it. Maybe there won't. Either way, we are prepared. Big profit. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Uh, that was just worth it. Just from that. These guys must have like logged off last night. Thinking like, oh, there's nothing in it. Oh my god. Okay, buddy. That's why you raid stone bases. Even if you think there's going to be zero loot. 
Bro, this thing's tanky. That's probably where all that loot is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Probably where all that loot is. No storage boxes. Probably there. Yep. Ah, oh, a PT. A 244 PT. That's actually a very high level. Hopefully, there's even more in these forges. Obviously, it was early into day one. So, any loot is profit this early on. So, I was happy with that little raid. So if you remember the base at the start of the video, a stone cliff plat without any turrets on, it's now been built and has turrets on, so now I'm going to try to stalk a dash, raid it, so let's see how it goes. It's the only time I'm going to get a chance to do this. Ah, uh, I've just I've done myself there. I really have. I really did just do myself there. Why would I shoot shot a rocket there when I was that low health? No, what it is, what it is. We've basically got rid of a lot of their progress, <sighs> but also don't have a stalker left, so probably wasn't the best decision there. Oh, this guy. That's right. Ah, oh, he's gonna transfer all fire much on a bowler. Yes. Oh, I got a PT. Bro, I don't know why it took so long. I like bowled him when I should have shotgunned him straight away, but I've got a kill either way, it's not a big deal. Uh, right. Didn't have nothing literally. I got another PT. I got loads of PTs now actually. So I came over to Aberration obviously just to get some metal because my forges weren't looking too great. They literally had zero metal in. I had freezing spores throughout the whole metal run which was so annoying but you know we power through it. I then changed where the base was quite a lot. I actually added two cliff blacks next to me right next to the world border because I feel like that would be a lot harder to raid so I'm now going to show you where they are. Uh, as you can see, it's going to look pretty fat when it's done. I'm just going to have layers of doors going down and then loads of turrets. Uh, we've got about, how many turrets? Five turrets at the moment, six turrets at the moment, which obviously we're going to need to get a lot more than that. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it so far. I uh, just need to build the actual base now. So last video I did actually do a raid and I got a stego egg from it. So now I'm going to pop it and see what HP it has. Fingers crossed it will have really good HP and I can start my stego line. Let's pop this stego. Let's see what, see what HP this thing got. Hatch. Checkpoint. Two six eight. Uh, six point three k. That's not bad, bro. That's actually not too bad. But like, I take that. Six point three k for now is actually not too terrible. I then went over to Rag to kill some woolly rhinos because I needed a horn to tame some mantises and then obviously I could do a flint run. Wait, let's go. It's lagging so I think it helped. Alright, level 4. Did I bring a mantis saddle over? I didn't. That's a rip. You know what, I was just chilling doing a little flint run and this guy came out of nowhere. Oh, why the I got picked connection? whilst replying to the thingy owner. He has a combo. I don't even, I don't even have a... Uh... Just distracting for 5 seconds. Oh my god. I have to give it to this guy. He was actually very good at PvP, so GG's. Point, I can't do- I think we can all remember this cliff plat at the start of the video. It's just got better and better every time I've scoured it. This time he weren't actually in his base and he still had a stone wall surrounding his generator. So this was my only chance to try to raid this base. Lag. Bloody hell. Lag just- Oh my god. How am I not getting shot? Oh my god. 
Okay. The stalker's not gonna actually die. Which that was the main thing that I was worried about. Oh my how how was the, the turrets aren't on thingy, whatever. Oh my god. Kalim, Ken Bench, Indie Forge, Loves of Metal. Oh, that's graphic. Yeah. Oh, loads of bullets. I need bullets. Right. Blow this. I, th <laughs> I, I was just worried about my stalker getting killed. Then I realized that like, I got behind that and then it didn't. Smithy, stone, I need that stone to be fair. Right, how much are these loadout mannequins? Alright, that's one down. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's lots of slot. Oh, okay. oh my god. Okay. Okie dokie. Those fur leggings are gonna be OP. Oh, damn it. Okay. And out the last mannequin, there weren't too much loot in it, but all in all, a very good raid, considering I didn't spend too much on it, and I didn't waste any stalkers or anything like that. Bro, honestly, this is the best thing to do early game. Like, if you want to find literally so many bases, and I've literally found so many right now. I'm, I was just going to raid one, but I saw this on the way. Uh, just do this, literally just scout the baller. I don't know how this guy's built this, it's really weird. Alright, if I place it there, it'll destroy it. Oh, fish. That guy's LB and everything. That guy just LB everything. I need to kill this. I need to focus this kid more than anything. That guy's definitely LB everything. Right, he, he thinks he can drop a bag and I'll not see the bag, hello? Yeah, I knew, I knew that's what happened. He dropped everything, uh, took everything out of the base. Right, nice. Got some more loot. Oh, yeah, I found a replicator on the side of the map. It's just gonna be for Ellie base. How much is... Oh, it's a f on a Thatch Foundation. I'm not, I have to, I have to. I have to, I have to destroy this, it's on a Thatch Foundation, like, they've definitely got it from a boss fight, they've, like, crafted it, and wanted to bring some sort of Ellie over to their map. There's actually a bag, there's gonna be Ellie in it. 63 Ellie, take that, bro. Oh, that's actually what? not bad at all. That, that's good. Yeah. I then scouted the map a little bit more, and I found a base on the side of the cliff, so I wanted to try to raid it. Little did I know they were online, so I'm going to get a bit of online PvP here. That's a rip. Probably shouldn't have wasted my stalker on that. So the other guy didn't really want to come out, so it's a long way back to a drop where I could transfer off then load in at my beds. I've done a little bit more scouting and found another base and it was very raidable. They didn't build it too well, so let's get into it. Oh my god, man. I've 
avenge my stalker now because I don't put my stuff on passive like an absolute idiot. But I'm actually an idiot. Such an idiot, bro. Who does what I do? I do it all the time, and it's not literally. I do it too much. Like stupid things like that. I put one on here. And the most of the types are off. All the turrets are offline. Boom. Nice. I mean, we literally lost the stalker for no reason at all. Which is a bit of a rip, but it is what it is, isn't it? Right, Smithy. Oh, we got PT. We can actually get back to base. We got two PTs, in fact. Uh, chem bench, loads of berries. Fabricate, and loads of PT eggs. I mean, this is profit, a lot of profit. Uh, there's gonna be stuff in these vaults. Sadly, I don't have enough C4 to blow them vaults. But I'm probably gonna come back with C4 because I feel like there could be stuff in that vault. Yeah, there's gonna be stuff in them vaults. Large storage box. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to base, grab some C4 and come straight back over here to blow them two volts. Right, there we go. Volts. 200 and something slots. Not looking too promising. Alright, uh, some loot. 300 Ellie! <laughs> okay, that's like a whole boss fight. Yep, okay. I didn't think I was Z's too. That's weird to have 300 Ellie in a vault, but yeah. Uh, I got Bloodstalker back. Let's go, man. Oh my god, this is profit. 19 C4 and the C4 back. Okay. Okay, 217 comp. Love that game. Love that. Right. I'm very happy with this raid now. I'm very happy I bring that C4 back. We also got loads of stone. Loads of hide, loads of fiber, like that is really nice. Loads of wood, beautiful, beautiful, great raid. Take that, hold on, hold on, modern game for actually giving me a good raid for once. I then saw a tribe getting ready to start a boss fight at Green Orb, and in my mind, the only thing to do here was to try to counter it. Bear in mind, there was like six people in Orb, it's probably not gonna go to plan, but you know, let's do it for the content to see what happens there for too long the stalker's gone this is my chance they're they're crowling everything i mean you can try they might be this is my moving chance shit. oh not the right time bro yeah oh yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna get fucked you need to run oh they have hella good shotguns what the hell you should probably be Probably should, but like, am I gonna dip? No. He's gonna whip spam your comp. Um, Bro, there's so many people. Play C4 on the stalker so he can't suck you. What the hell? Right, that, that probably was not the best idea though. I've got a whole army coming for me, lad. Yeah, they're definitely do boss fight. Ah! Oh, GG's. <laughs> me? That is how to not counter a boss fight solo. Right, so a little bit of a base showcase at the end of day one. I'm just going to show you now. So what we're working with, we've actually done loads of fence supports upwards. Just this side, because this is the side that would get stalker dashed. Obviously, I'm going to do it all around, but I don't have the metal at the moment. And obviously, on this server, they have upped the price for fence supports. Normally, they're like so, so cheap. But on this server, they're not so cheap. Uh, anyway, this is what we're working with. 
Uh, it's, it's alright, it's alright. I don't know if it's questionable. I guess we'll find out when we're sleeping for like about six hours. I'm not going to have too much sleep, but at the same time, I'm not going ridiculously hard like previous wipes. Um, but yeah, we've got decent stuff going. Our loot is actually kind of crazy. I didn't realise how much of it we've actually have got. And we've got loads. We have got loads. Uh, loads of just random stuff already. Random stuff, random stuff. We've actually got a stego in here. My stego did die. I don't know how, like, it spawned me in when it was the server reset down there. And I accidentally pressed, uh, throw out my cryo. And then a bunch of megalodons swarmed it. So, yeah, that's not too great. And I woke up to this. Obviously, I'd been raided. And I weren't gutted at all. Because I have so much content in next series. is actually unbelievable. I think it's about four to eight videos. And it's very hard to get content at the moment because I've got my GCS Emox. If you're from the UK, you know what that is. But in the video for loads of PvP over in Lava Golem, so let's get into it. So I knew there was people in here from the timer because it didn't come up and someone was actually camping the crouch. So I needed to take care of him first and then the guy who's actually running Lava Golem. Whoa, rocket. Oh my god, that I'm so bad. It. Bro, they literally he had nothing. Oh it's There's someone doing it. Someone. Right. You can't go in, you can't go in, you can't go in. I know I can't, but Camp at the crap. I feel bad for what I did to that guy. I thought we had a fat kit and really good flak, but he obviously didn't. That's good. The only problem I can't he's killed it. Right. You can or is he going straight for? I need to hide behind this. Get your grapples out. And this guy had zero clue anyone was camping the lava golem. Yep, dangling into lava. No way. Dragon, dragon. Oh, nice. What a noob. Nice. 3v low. Did he get the lava gun? Yeah, definitely. So I tried something different now, which was grappling him off the lava golem. If he had a hatchet, it might have been a different story, but he didn't. And if you was wondering, I didn't get any more extra BPs from the drops around it. It was a pretty bad lava golem. After that lava golem run, I deposited all the loot at my base and then came back to a different rag and I wanted to do the exact same thing. And to my surprise, there were actually people in here. So let's get some more PvP. <laughs> okay, mode. Wait, they Wait. just completed it. They would have just completed it. Yeah. They have to be in there. Go camp a red drop, maybe. Oh, there he is. Wait, where's it's, the column? Where did it lie? Is he getting round two, the round two, round two, grappling him off the golem. No way he's getting the drops before the golem. Oh. Did he just kill him? Wait. Oh. What? Get what, grab him, grab him. When he gets on, the, when he gets to the golem. Do you he's only got the golem. Probably already yeah. got the golem. No one gets the red drops. Run to the entrance. He's coming for this one now. Gotta get neeked. Yep. <laughs> That's just so high IQ from me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's all for a flat. <laughs> Wait, he didn't actually get the lava gun, I don't think. Good did he not? Did... Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, we're sending uh, flak boots and. Holy. Oh my god, that's bad. Same yeah, but I can try. sell them. That's two lava golems counted in two. I'll take that. He definitely got the lava. Oh, he's a level, level two. two. Oh. oh, he's dipping. <laughs> he's dipping. He's doing it. He's doing the Stevie <laughs> thing. Oh, <laughs> oh look. <laughs> what? Big profit. Big profit. Big profit. So, boys, I made some huge upgrades to the base, as you're going to see in a minute. Uh, kind of crazy. We've just been farming out Ellie, and you're probably thinking, why have you got a full skill? Obviously, that's not going to be there 24-7. That's only going to be there when I'm getting raided or whatever. So, up here, we've got some cliff flats that are boarded off the ceiling, where I've actually just... Uh, Went up there, killed myself with some poly, uh, like that. Even if the cliff flats weren't here, you wouldn't have been able to sneak through. It's all boarded off with this bubble. And then we've got a few turrets on here. 
a few bullets, not too much. And we've obviously got these fence foundations, so you can't stalk it actually. That's my main concern with this location because when we get into one, two weeks into a wipe, people are going to have some insane stalkers, and I don't want this base to get stalker dashed. So I'm pretty sure it won't now. We haven't got many turrets to be honest. But I want to just focus on bullets and uh, bullets rather than the turret count. Even though I haven't really got much bullets in these turrets at the moment. I've got a fair amount. Inside uh, it's just normal really. Just had to place some more storage. Uh, obviously vaults. We've got some decent loot currently. And we probably need to trade some of these BPs that we've got. Uh, but the resource wise we're looking pretty decent. I've also got 100 LE in here, oh 74, uh, so that should last a while. So I found a base underneath one of the Lunar Islands and it was basically raidable without any explosives and I was just in a stalker dash in there and swipe the cables so let's see how this goes. You're not gonna die, but if you are, you've got stalker mine. Wait, they were heavies. I mean, it's done now. I mean, it's done now, so it's a shield. Luckily, he's nice. <laughs> Lucky enough to bring a Fabi this time. Even though I can't hit a shot. Oh my god, it's a free shot. They had he I did to be fair, I didn't realise they were heavies. I thought they were all that, that went pretty well considering they had heavies. Yeah. Break the beds. <laughs> He's still alive. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally didn't even put a C4 in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so far. <laughs> this is so horrible. Oh my. Hmm. Oh my. This is profit. I didn't even waste the C4, bro. <laughs> Hard storage box. Polly? Oh, oh my god. Bro, this is so much profit. <laughs> <laughs> so overall a very profitable raid considering I didn't use any C4. Now on to another raid in Luna. This location is actually very familiar because it's the same location that I'm built in, obviously on a different Genesis. This time they've built it very poorly and I was actually trying to raid it last video and got very close but they came online. So I'm obviously third person C4 in the turrets from underneath and they will blow it up. There we go. He's online. Oh no. It's a stalker thing. Oh, I thought that was him too. <laughs> Same. I was so confused. Right, I yeah. think there's more turrets inside of the spot, so I need to go back. Yeah. But you can do third person C4, they're autos. So instead of third person C4 in the turrets, I'm just going to try to run them and see how that goes. Yeah. Even work. Anyway. Oh, you. Yeah. Oi, I didn't realise there's a heavy in it. Sheesh. Ah! Oh, stalkers just absolutely ruined me. Right, I didn't realise oh there's a heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Right, there we go. That's down. Easy. Make Probably sure just going to a rep. And the trans. I didn't think they <laughs> were like this, like... I don't know, it might just be an Ellie. No, it's not an Ellie farming base. Definitely isn't. I don't know. And now I just need to. Where's the turrets? I dropped these. I dropped, <laughs> I dropped the turrets too up there. That's funny. Right. This is definitely a main base. Yeah, this is definitely a main base. I didn't think it was, but it definitely is. Let me break this. Right, he's got a decent flat. No, he don't. Stalker. Fabricate. Okay. 
36 C4. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. How fat is this? This is fat considering it literally took me what? 10, 10 minutes. Oh my god. These are the best types of raids. I don't even care. Oh my god. I need to kill this kid. They're a duo. Not anymore. Okay. Oh my god, ingots. Nice. That's like what, 30k? 60, no, 20, yeah, 30k. I can't really take that LE either, so. Smithy, Industrial Forge. I already got that. Right. If I go up here, it won't damage the cliff. Like. They've built this really bad. Have they put a trans on a, they put a trans on a foundation. Yikes. Wow. Right, first hold. PT, Stalker, four rockets, stone I actually need. Oh my god. Loads of crows. 6.6. .6. I don't think these are any good stegos. Not gonna lie. Uh, loads of stone. We actually need this stone. A bit of all those ingots. <laughs> loads of ingots. Uh. Also, loads of flint. Decent, man. Loads of auto turrets to make heavies. That's crazy. Why is it not that? More bullets. Another 4C4. Nothing really in this one, to be fair. I thought I saw a stego saddle, but it wasn't. Last fault. Also, I broke a trans, which trans didn't have nothing in. Last vault is a uh, fire bar. We actually need to take that because I don't have none. Uh, but all in all, a very profitable raid considering it took me like no time whatsoever. I'm very happy with that. Look how much loot we got. That's actually fat. Right boys, so I'm currently in a crafting skill character and I was just crafting loads of flak, loads of weapons and loads of bowlers, parachutes and all that so I wouldn't have to keep refilling uh, my kit or whatever I had to do with them. So here is the flat <laughs> as you... Yeah. So boys, I'm currently in a crafting skill character, obviously crafting loads of flak weapons and that for future raids and PvP. I'm going to show you now, I basically got a whole vault full of flak. I think I crafted about 50 sets, as you can see here, some insane flak. Most of them are getting 1k plus, some are not. Legs are insane, gauntlets are good, chest should be amazing, like all of these should be 1000 plus. <laughs> Which is mad, some are even cap sets, uh, not capped armor though. Which is just amazing. Also loads of boulders, uh, parachutes and grapples. I did also craft a few shotguns and a few comps. I also done some crossbows. I don't know if they're in there yet. No they're not. And some stego saddles which are very good. Stego. I've got a few cat ones now which helps out a lot. And I've still got lots of resources left. I've organised the base a lot as you're going to see now. Put all the stone and that in here. All the resources are in uh, in stone. No, that's not stone, that's charcoal. Uh, but all the resources that I need are in the rep. And yeah, just organise the base a lot more. Blueprints are in here. Cryopods, not looking too great. I need to do some raising my tames and all that. But I will do that soon. I came over to Crystal Isles to scout this rat hole as I tried to raid it in a recent vid and they came online and I sort of got countered. So I came back to this to see if they made any upgrades and they've made some huge upgrades to the base. They were also online so I want to see what damage I can do, maybe even raid them fully but it was going to be a hard task, let's see if I can do it. Aggressive, don't do that. Oh my god bro, I can 100 do this if they're just offline. These guys are never offline. Just try and run to the right, maybe. Um. <laughs> I did not know they were there. Uh. <clears throat> I can do that bro. So I bring over a couple sets of flak and some weapons C4 explosives just to try to raid this. I knew I could do it if I had enough stuff over here. So let's give it another try.
Oh. Bro. He's online. That's that's what's making it difficult. I'm, I'm in, basically. Unless you don't put a turret down there, I'm in. So I just killed one of them guys and put him on respawn timer. So I knew this was my opportunity to go in and try to do as much damage. The reason why you couldn't see the kill is because I recorded in shorter clips and I must have just forgot to record. Internals. I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can. Bro, I've got 35 C ports. Chill. Proper screwed myself here. What I shouldn't have done was what I did right here. Basically, blow all my coverage from their main wall because they had about 40 heavies on that wall, and I didn't really want to get shot by them. But I've got no choice now. I'm gonna get shot, so it's gonna be very awkward to loot. Lucky enough, with one of my third person C4, I did get their beds offline. Trash. Oh. I died because I got shot from the wall, so I came back in here with a couple sets of fresh flak with full draw and some more C4. So hopefully I can get a lot more loot this time and get it out of the base. Bro, what the hell? Right, what do you think here? Should I throw the stego to make it LOS? I think that's the best option. Yeah, I think you should. I think that is the best option. So my idea here was to chuck one of my stegos out and whilst it's LOS in the main wall and maybe even soaking it to loot some of the bags and get some of the loot that way because I was just going to get constantly shot if I'd done it any other way. At least then you don't get shot. Nice. Neutral, neutral. Go on, go on a little bit. Does that have a saddle on? Perfect. Perfect. Pass it. Out. Oh my god. Oh, chip balls. It's dead, it's dead. Right, I need to see what it does. Oh! Oh! No, that was literally the perfect thing I needed it to do. Oh no, right. Actually. Actually. You could... it's, it's kind of flopped in a good way if you'd be able to get in. Yeah. However, I can't get out. Is there, is there Jenny in the heavy turret wall? or? Yeah, it's in the heavy turret wall. So I did actually die again, this time I could actually grapple my body out, but I still haven't got none of their main loot, so let's try to get some of that this time. Oh my god. Oh my god. How long is this thing in the tank? Oh my god. I've got so many forges. That might not have been the best idea. Pin bench. Oh my god. Smithy. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I don't know how I'm getting out with this loot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm capped. I'm literally capped on loot. And they take all the gunpowder. What 
One little tip when you are building your base, do not spam it like these guys did with fence supports because you can actually LOS with them. I know it looks very hard because they're so small, but somehow I did it with this base. As you see, I'm not getting shot too many times when I am running in and out, and I've got most of the main loot out now, so let's see if we can get any more. So at this point I had gotten a lot of loot, about 3 slot caps and it was mainly all resources and cryopods. I mean I could have got a lot of these vaults but the main wall were actually covering it so I would have had to soak or try to do some LOS stuff and stuff like that which I didn't really want to waste more time because all the loot that I had gotten from this base were in vaults that were unprotected basically under the base so if anyone had came over and tried to kill me they could have probably got all that loot so i just wanted to get out safely so we're gonna start the video over in the snow biome on one of the pillars where i found a cheeky little raid so i bring over stego a couple sets of flak and some c4 and now we're gonna raid it I found this little pillar base uh, and I kind of died to their turrets already because I tried to run it with uh, I tried to run it and like my grapple glitched and I couldn't run it so I'm gonna try to now this thing don't even have a saddle on make sure of it this time let's just get rid of these turrets first let's just get rid of all the turrets it's not gonna kill the soul stables <laughs> The turrets are our only survivors, it looks like. Oh, it's lagging. Oh my god, that's so annoying. There we go. And we can just jump off here. Actually, you know what? We'll be safe. I mainly raided this just to get my kit back, but I wasn't expecting some of the loot that was actually inside of the base. Big profit. Oh, they've actually got a vault. That's mad. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. As I was saying, I raided this mainly to get my kit back, but wasn't expecting this type of profit. And I haven't even blown into the vault yet. Turns out... Add profit. They've even got a flat BP, but it's, it's not a great flat BP at all. Chemistry bench. That's fat, man. That should have been... Right, I placed 15 C4. It always does a C4 glitch, and it's really annoying. But normally, if you hit it once, it's sort of... So we'll go. A little tip when you are blowing a vault and you've only got a certain amount of C4 and you place it a couple at a time or a few at a time because you don't want it to glitch because you will waste a lot more C4. Right, this should blow the vault. Maybe not. That is definitely going to blow the vault. Let's see what we got in the vault. Oh my god! What the hell? I was not... Okay. Oh, I got a pro crop. I need a uh, pro cop. I needed one of them. I needed one of them. I got two. <gasps> oh, uh, this for this sort of raid. This is fat. Yo, this is fat for this sort of raid. But I didn't literally do nothing except I throw a stego out. I'm very happy with that. Good job. I did raid this now. I got my kit back and two pro cop which i needed to do a berry run i was literally about to go tame one funny enough uh and i can do the boss fight with him too that's actually really nice i then had to get some element because i was running quite low so i started up a boss fight and then this happened yeah the kids could kill you i just i got instant killed did you yeah <laughs> Oh my god, I actually did it, I got insta-killed. 
So this was the first time I've had this experience. Basically what happened is if two people start a boss fight at the exact same time, they both get TP'd in and they get killed for some odd reason. But you know, we'll take a little loss there and we'll move on. So boys, we made some upgrades to the base as I felt like in some points we were a little bit weak. So I'm just going to show you it here. So we'd add another little layer to that uh, with some more text and more heavies. We've added some more heavies and techs around here. All the heavies have got filled slightly, not too much at all. Uh, but still some bullets to keep people away, but the techs haven't. Uh, I've also put a little turret things up here. You can't actually place a foundation straight off the thing. You have to like get a cliff plat and then detach off. So that's a bit annoying sometimes, but I feel like that will like at least stop some people from like grappling over and trying to like LOS the base even though I don't think you can. I put another one that side too, which is also very nice. And at the moment I'm just breeding some stalkers and that as it's just hit midnight and I'm probably going to get off very soon once these have raised up. So I got on the next day and I had to do a berry run, but I had a bit of a problem doing so. Oh my god. Bro! The one time I don't bring C4, there's literally a greenhouse on Ocean East. And I just spawned on top of it. And I can't do nothing. Look at this. I did The one time I took C4 out of my in inventory. There is. Just casually kind bail for free. But obviously the greenhouse structure is not very durable, so I just hatched it down the wall and I turned off the generator. Oh. What do you rate that done today? Just phone base with like five yes. How I raided a greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> right, I need to turn this off. I then went over to Extinction and scouted Southgate rat hole and realised there was two people online, so I'm gonna go over there for some PvP. Wait. Oh my god. Let's go, bro. Black is one tap though. Whilst coming out of the rat hole, a fellow stalker Bob wanted some smoke. Get out of here, bro. Thank you for shadows. I 
I then got a kit together, went over to Ragnarok to see how many kits I could farm off some PvP. Bro, if this kid, if I get popped in the head right now. I don't know why, but that seems sus. It's wiping so low. No, that's. Wait, why is he turning so. No, oh, that is not speed catch or anything, but. Go on, again. Wait, wait, we're flying. You can't get up, please. It's done. Go on, Fabian. We love this game. What a shot. I was trying to tame stuff. Oh my god, bro. The egg. 50. Is that 180? 185. That's nice. max level. Or is it a poison or a fire? Isn't it 190? Oh, Luis. No, that's not the right Lewis, surely. Not that little sweaty bob. I just got clapped. I then searched around the lava golem and around that area to see if there was any PvP, and there certainly was. And the Civic's... Civic is streaming. I can't pick oh, that. Not. Well, I'm watching. Spooky season. He is. I bet it's uh I bet it's uh I'm not watching some scary game. Did you rocket me? Nice. I'm not scary. watching some scary here. Nah, it's not one of those I, scary. I agree. I... Use it all. Oh yeah, it's phasmophobia, yeah. Oh you're ruining my video. Oh my god! Hold on, I need to check this loot. ET. Stalker. Yo, well, that's actually decent. Oh, and my flak's not even scuffed. Okay, buddy. Let's go, big fat kids. I then scouted around Ragnarok a little bit more and then found a waterfall slash rat hole base that I wanted to raid, but they were online, so I just came over here for a cheeky little grief. And what happens is quite funny. I had to first get rid of this shandy because it was blocking the entrance and they had quite a few turrets on the bottom, but only one protecting the top where the generator was, so that's a big mistake on their part. not 6x is it ah oh, bro no way he's put the jenny on here no way bro if he's put the jenny on here and i've just got rid of like quite a fat oh my god no way oh my god that's like so many heavies out of the equation already I mean, didn't really have much bullets, but still quite a bit.
The guy was flying really close around my turret and my vault, which had my whole kit in, so I had to go take care of him. Man's was called GB. After I took care of him, I then went back to the rat hole slash waterfall base, whatever you want to call it, and then sort of camped it and griefed it for a little bit longer. Tell your mom. Any mom. I didn't bring my bonus. Oh, it's so cringe. These guys are spike balling. Oh, you're cringe, man. I had my flak, I got what I lost back. <laughs> and that was only because I tried to rocket run their turrets or should I say grapple glitch and it just failed massively. Bro, these guys think I'm botting or something. Eight clips me one time. Bro, this guy actually thinks I'm botting. Bro, this guy is so funny. Seriously? Seriously? Look, look at these kids. Oh, these guys are jokers, honestly. These guys are jokers. I think they've placed turrets here. At this point, I probably should have left because I did gain some profit from this, but I stayed, I got a bit too cocky, and this happened. That's the only way they kill me. It really is a funny experience on Ark when you do get called out for hacks and you know you're a fully legit player and you're just sitting back and like he's really calling me hacking when I'm just playing normally. That's obviously just a compliment. I'm sure some of you guys who are watching it uh, has happened to you before. But PvP don't stop there. I went back over to centre and then done a little scout and I came to Lava Rat Hole, probably the best rat hole in the game. And there were people fighting outside, so I'm gonna go counter this fight and see if I can gain any loot. I'm the boss, you know that. What? He's tagged again. I'm not even gonna lie here, the audio from the people in the Discord call sort of ruins this clip, so I'm just gonna play some nice music over it.
Oh, let's go super. They just done the boss. Oh, I just got loads of shell. Oh my god, there's someone up here. Bro, how many people there? Oh D7B. Bro, they must have print flak or something. Angle. Oh. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, what the hell? I just got fatty kits. Bro, you just got. Major then needed help with some raid because someone was trying to counter him. So I thought I'd just come over here and help him get in and get all the loot out. So let's see what loot we get. Nice. Let's go, I think. I'm to repair my flak. Yeah, I'm just taking this right shield. They don't. Oh my god, Major, you can have all of them. Oh but... my god. Our... Oh my god. So LB? Yeah, you LB. Yeah, don't need. I just want resources. Oh, I've got BPs. Gas bag BP. Can I have this one of these Fabi BP, the two? Yeah. Which is... All just full of metal. Oh, look at the drill that low GB. Yeah, I don't care, but that's a dono BP. They might have, have dono. You've capped already? Yeah. I think they have donor flat DPs, I'm not gonna lie. You can have the set if they do. Major got a lot more loot from this raid, but it's over on his channel if you do want to check it out. I'm not gonna show it as it is duo and this is a solo series mainly, but I just thought I'd integrate into the video a little bit and show you some of the loot. So we've done Alpha Rockwell at the start of the video, but I just wanted to jump straight into the raids in the PvP. So I'm gonna put a little clip of it in now for you guys. I'm sure you guys have watched people do Alpha Rockwell so many times, so I'm not going to show actually doing the boss. I'm going to just show the cut screen at 2x speed, just in case you've never seen it before. Let's go. We got Alpha Rockwell. All the engrams are learnt now, basically. Right, everything that I need for this wipe. I then looked around the map and saw the underwater rat hole defences outside was not really well built so I decided to bring a stego over, swim underneath the giant ocean plat or whatever it's called and throw a stego on top of there and drop the turrets. I'm gonna fob this. Right. I'm gonna run this so I need to go like that. I should rush these turrets and then we can leave this thing over here. There we go. And then I have a better pump than this. I don't know why I ran it with everything on me, but I did. So I didn't even bother trying to raid the rat hole after dropping their ocean plat because it looked reasonably fat and I didn't have the time. So on that note, that is going to be the end of today's video. And if you have made this far into the video, please put G72 in the comments and know how I made this far. Which honestly means more than anything because this is such a long video. Anyway guys, have a miserable rest of the day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys in the next video.